Hello, welcome. I invite you to join me for a moment to pause, to pray, to be still and to give thanks to God for this new day that God has made. Let us give thanks to God because God is with us. Whatever challenges we face, whatever uncertainty we face, God remains with us. God holds us. God loves us. Today, as we continue in these days between Ascension Day, yesterday, Thursday, and Pentecost, we're exploring together the good news of God's love. And we're praying that others too might know the good news of God's love for themselves. Today, a passage about love, what love is. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. These verses and this description of love remind us that love is lived out. Love is not simply a declaration with our words. Love is not simply about saying, I love you. Love is about commitment in action. This passage from 1 Corinthians is quite a popular one to have at weddings, where we think about love between two people. But this description of love also applies to the way God feels about us. God's love for us is not just a verbal declaration or the words written on a page in the Bible. God's love for us is about commitment in action. We thought yesterday about God's selfless, sacrificial love demonstrated in sending Jesus into the world. God loves us. God is patient. God is kind. God's love endures all things. God's love keeps on going. This is the love which we're called to share. As Christians, it's not just about talking about love. It's about living it out in the way that we treat people. As God's beloved children. We're to share this love with one another, to be patient, to be kind and to keep on going. Yesterday we thought about people who might need to know God's love at this time. You might have joined me in tying some knots in a bit of string as a reminder of those people we want to pray for, people who might feel a bit unloved at this time as a prayer of blessing today, as I pray this prayer of blessing, let's hold in our hearts those people we're praying for, those people we know who need to know God's love for them at the moment. May the love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. May the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.